It's summer, 1963. Wait, 1963. What was playing on the radio in 1963? What was a hit? Even in the comments, I need to know that. They had one of the best football teams in Chicago. And if you're from Chicago, you know how big football is, like literally on the streets. The first day it snows, play tackle football outside. I mean, these kids, you know, had a football team. They had their own little clubhouse off of Ashland. Let's get into this video. In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise, like the mob, gangs, Chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated. In Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is gang life. <laughs> Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no fake in. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on their faces. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Suan Sala Suburban. Let's take a ride to the north side. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Gang Life, Chicago edition. <laughs> you know, 1963, man. That summer, the Kings were recruiting hard. And they were going at war with the Playboys. So, it's... It is like it is in Chicago, and in most cases in Chicago, you either pick a side, because you're in the middle, you either pick a side, or say fuck it and go to war with both. That's how it is, another, another day in, you know, gang life in Chicago, but, you know, back in the day, a lot of these organizations were either teaming up to destroy somebody, or trying to survive fighting everybody off. And the Ashland Vikings. <laughs> yes, sir. A bunch of kids playing football caught in the middle of the crossfire of the Latin Kings and the Playboys going at war back and forth. Getting caught in the middle is a big, big thing that happens a lot in Chicago where you know, this group thinks that you're talking to that group, so you're undercover, so they come around, they beat you up. Sooner or later, you get tired, tired of it, and you say, fuck it. And it happens a lot, so these kids did that. They got tired of getting pushed around, and the Ashley Vikings were born. It was a new gang going to war with the senior, seniors, Latin Kings, and the Pulaski uh, Playboys. But... The, Vi the Vikings said fuck it and actually made a name for themselves throughout that summer because they got uh, really known for cocktail bombs and uh, homemade shotguns. <laughs> you know, stories were actually said that a lot of people actually started using them to, uh, you know, get hits done back in the day. And, you know, they uh, made a lot of connections with a lot of people. By 1969, they had set up a big territory, made connections, and pretty much were an organized crime group. They were making money, they were you know, getting hits done. It was very, very organized. Out of a lot of the organizations that I've looked over and read about, this is by far the most organized one that I've come across, and I'll, I'll say why. In 1974, a big armed robbery murder hit their doorstep and the cops were all over the Vikings, pretty much. Uh, a lot of their members got arrested, a lot of them you know, went to prison. Um, most gangs fall apart with hits like this because they, they lock up a lot of the key members that can destroy a, a section or an entire nation. Even after the mass amount of 
the mass operation and all the members getting picked up, the ashes are still standing. And I have to say it is because of their their rules, their 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 whole scripture is is like I looked at everything and, and you know so they have they don't ride under the the five point star they don't ride under the the six point star they ride under the eight point star but they made it fit to where they could still be folks so the six but they have their extra two you know points to make the eight point star and the eight point star stands for all eight of their hoods that they, they that made the Vikings, that started the Vikings. You know, and every hood had a, a name, and actually the names were like pretty fucking badass. Like it was like the Fist, the Barbarians, <laughs> the, the, the leaders uh, and how they drew up their whole, um, you know, the, the eight point star, what the helmet means. They, they drew up some pretty intense stuff that you think about it like you're you're it's these guys are kids creating all out organizations with i mean war chants to prayers to all kinds of shit and it it becomes uh, an organization that has thousands and thousands of members and these are just kids from the streets you know what i mean this is what created the ashland vikings uh uh these set rules and these the way that they govern themselves where there was a top ranking guy you know the guy under him and then all the sections this is like top of the line like smarts and a lot of these guys on these on these streets have this and they only if they could only dedicate a little bit of time to something that you know it's not against the law <laughs> they would be unstoppable Obviously, the Vikings have moved out of some of their uh, uh, sections, units. I brought up the eight because it's the founding. It's pretty much how I, I call it the history, the founding of the Vikings, the eight you know hoods that they had. A lot has changed on the north side. A lot of, you know, hippies, hipsters, whatever you want to call it, moving in, changing things. But they're still there. They've traveled to other states, suburbs, Cicero, Rockford, uh, they, they even said that there's a couple of sections of them in Mexico and South America. So they've done what organizations are supposed to do, and that is stay out of jail and grow. <laughs> My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here. Free, not gangbanging, not doing no drugs, just enjoying life to the fullest. I dare you. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.